When we turn on the tap, we expect clean, fresh water to flow from the faucet. We expect our children to be able to take a swim on a hot summer day, and we expect wastewater to have a minimal impact on our environment. So how does the city of Durham make that happen? Through a department of water management that understands the value of every drop. There are three main areas Durham Water Management focuses on. Quantity, quality, and delivery. Each is crucial to maintaining water and wastewater services and making sure that you get the high level of service that you expect. Managing these three areas requires looking ahead over the next 30 years and beyond to see how we can be most efficient and invest wisely. It all starts out here, at the lakes that provide us with the quantity of water needed for our fast-growing community. Durham draws water from both Lake Mickey and here at Little River Lake, which are both part of the Upper Noose watershed. These two lakes provide our city and surrounding areas with 34 million gallons of water per day, which is above our current daily average usage. But as our city continues to grow and develop, our water needs will only increase. To further ensure quantity, we have invested in water supplies from Jordan Lake and Tier Quarry so that even in years of drought, we can continue to serve our customers and make sure that emergency services, such as fire suppression, will not be compromised. Our ability to access water from multiple sources gives us flexibility during water shortages. It takes a lot of planning and cooperation with neighboring communities to maintain these water sources, but we know that ultimately, that is the greatest value to you. The next step is to move the lake water to one of our two treatment facilities. Here we make sure that the quality of water that you receive is free of impurities and ready for any use. Water plant personnel are on hand 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, monitoring every step of the treatment process. Staff collects and analyzes samples to make sure that any drinking water leaving these facilities meets or surpasses all federal and state standards. Our city has spent millions of dollars expanding, upgrading, and maintaining our existing water storage tanks, pump systems, and pipelines to meet demand and improve reliability. We have also built connections with other water utilities like Cary and Owasa to ensure this reliability. The value of these investments and regional partnerships to our residents is reaffirmed daily as the system delivers water to over a quarter of a million people. Water management isn't just about having a cool glass of water to drink. It's also about handling the wastewater that is produced by a growing community like Durham. Putting clean water back into our rivers and lakes is of the utmost importance to us. That's why all wastewater undergoes thorough and extensive treatment at the city's two reclamation facilities. Our wastewater is returned based on the topography of our city, the Cape Fear River Basin in the south and the Noose River Basin in the north. The pipes that move wastewater to and from our reclamation facilities form a complex system and maintaining and upgrading this system is one of our larger annual costs. One of Durham's highest priorities is maintaining all of this water and sewer infrastructure so that we have a system that lasts, not just for the next 10 years, but for the next 60 years or even longer. To do this requires a commitment to invest and reinvest in our utility. Last year, the city spent $18 million to just maintain the integrity of our water and wastewater infrastructure through rehabilitation projects. We also need to meet increasingly stringent state and federal standards that continue to drive up our overall costs. However, keeping the financial impact of these expenses on our residents to a minimum is very important to us. This means implementing smaller rate increases over time so that we have the funds needed for system upgrades and new construction projects while keeping your costs as low as possible. It's a multi-year rate strategy that we believe is the smartest way to operate the utility. 
Moderate rate increases means the city can invest in large capital projects, like the automated meter reading system, or new construction projects, like the elevated water tank that will be located on Anger Avenue. Our rate strategy will allow us to meet the ever-increasing operating and regulatory costs from federal and state requirements on watershed protection. The long-term effects of these strategic but moderate increases, as well as our tiered rate system, will help keep rate increases lower over the next several years. Our mission in water management is to never waste our most precious resource, or your money. It's what keeps us ever vigilant for ways to sustain our water supply and invest in the most efficient treatment strategies to ensure safe water and a safe environment. By working together as a community, we can become a model throughout the state on how to manage a thriving city's water needs while understanding the value of every drop.